Hey there, Mike Robinson with Blackhawk Paramotor USA. Today, we're going to answer some questions regarding our hot selling light trike. Now, the questions that we've been posed are, how do you adjust the hang point, the CG? The CG is how high the front end is versus the rear end in flight. I like to see nine to 10 inches difference in height. This is the arch. Now, some of you might have had the light trike with the high hang point. That seat sits higher than this one does. How we handled that was with another arch, so to speak, a sub arch that was on top of that. So that video on how to assemble the light trike is a little bit different than the light trike with the Kestrel V3. The V3 is now the primary frame that's sold by far. So the standard is the single arch, just as you see here. Okay, the first thing you're gonna need is a cinch strap from your glider. We're now sending a new strap with each light trike, but typically you would take your cinch strap from your glider and apply it around the back of the harness here and we will show you pictures in detail but here's the strap and it goes around the base of the harness and it goes around the backbone of the frame okay so as I mentioned the strap is what's important here the tighter you make the strap the more you suck it back, the higher the front end will come up. The more you loosen it, the lower the front end will be. So just play around with this until you get the adjustment on the front correct. We've estimated where this one is, and typically it's about six inches. That measurement is taken from the fuel tank to the very back of the harness here. Once again, we will show you pictures of that from the back of the fuel tank to here. I am five foot eight, 160 pounds. Once you've attached the strap, you're going to get in the unit in a simulator such as this, and you're going to raise yourself up. When the back wheels are barely touching the ground, that's where you take your measurement from the ground to the front tire. Now I will tell you, as you're sitting here on the light trike, I'm very upright. I'm not uncomfortable, but it's not like I'm flying foot launch and I'm kicked back and I'm comfortable. You are going to be upright. When you come off the ground, as you will see when Austin raises the simulator, your seat board comes up four inches off of that arch. Some of you might ask, what's the purpose of the arch? The arch is to support your weight, so you're not putting a stretch or pressure on a lightweight foot launch frame. This is applied when you're just sitting in the unit, when you're taxiing and looking to take off, or when you come in for landing. Again, once you're off the ground, you will be approximately four inches off and you'll have full weight shift as though you were flying foot launch. Also, you do not need to have your feet on the steering, and I'll show you that as well. Okay, Austin, take me up. There we go. I'm totally comfortable right now. Now I've acquired my proper CG, or I believe our proper CG. I'm tilted back slightly, probably about three degrees. And I feel great. This feels very comfortable. Okay. Now, you'll notice that my toes are more on the steering. I can still steer, no problem. Okay? I'm not the biggest guy. But when I come in for landing, all I need to do is move about two inches. And I have all of the input I need to put on the steering. In fact, if I were to land without my feet on the steering, the light trike is designed that when it touches down, that front steering will automatically track 
straight down the field. Okay, turn me sideways and let's get that measurement. Are you just touching? And right there I got nine. Nine inches is perfect. That was a good, uh, good guess there, Austin. So if I take my feet off the steering, it's going to be slightly higher. Go ahead and give me a measurement there. I'll just going to twist a little. So your feet are off and I just jumped up to 10. Okay. So feet on, I will bring it down slightly. Yep. There is no pressure on the unit now. See, I'm tapping it down. It's, it's going to stay solid. So the adjustment on the strap is how you acquire your CG. Okay, so as I mentioned, you're using the wheels to get off the ground and back on the ground. The rest of the time, this little trike is just hanging out underneath you and going along for the ride. Weight shift is the same as if you were foot launched. There's very little difference. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, be sure to give us a call and we'll answer any question that you might have. Thanks for watching. Suggestions or comments are appreciated.